Hey guys, a um, few things before we begin. Um, yeah. Capture device went poof. No Tales of Graces. Sorry. Not for a while, anyway. So I figured, you know, let, let's be not lazy about Silent Hill and get back to Silent Hill. So here we go. Um, this is a post-commentary, unfortunately, because the audio, well, commentary, anyway, did not capture before. So, like, most of the footage is as if I were commentating, so that little pause at the start was the intro, and I've never done post-commentary before, so... But, um, hopefully with Amber sitting beside me, I might be able to be semi-smart about this. Uh, if you remember the piano puzzle, I'm a complete and total retard, and upon waking up and being awake for like five minutes, I realized exactly what you had to do. And this is me charging back haphazardly, not even thinking about anything being my way. There's a dog barking, and <laughs> basically it was really stupid simple, and I can't believe I took half an hour to realize this. Bloody keys! I haven't even seen this. Like, I haven't even played the game myself in like a month or so. Like, a little over a month. It's been it's been far more than a month. Well, okay, the idea was that you know how like I was doing what actually made sounds, you just had to do the thing that made clicky. The clicky noise is what you wanted. And then like a fucking genius, I realized that upon waking up and boom. So I was hitting the wrong keys for a solid half hour. In recording. <laughs> Why isn't it working? I've done every single combination. Actually, I think I really did. <laughs> At some point, like, I seriously think I did every combination except for the right one. And it never dawned on me. Uh, anyway, we got the silver medallion. And with said silver medallion, we can actually go out and do things. And this is me cautiously... Just... Squ like, squatting with a... Thing. A pipe. But yeah, that that's basically all I had to do. It it's stupid easy and I can't believe I actually was stupid enough stupid enough to completely miss that out. But um I think at this point we had already done the uh gold thing and I'm just looking at and just realized now that there's a roof. Like that I'm like fuck, there's a roof. And uh yeah. It gets it gets pretty messy, but um, honestly, I haven't even done this in a while. But thankfully, thankfully, I'm doing it now, so you guys get to watch me flounder around for like ever. So yeah, we had already put in the gold in. Now we get to put in the silver, and then we get to go on a fun little trip to Wonderland, because yes. And it, I mean. Okay, who who activates a portal to the netherworld with two little discs of varying color? And of course I'm like really cautious, you know? I mean, it's silent freaking hill, man. The tower door is locked. I forget entirely what I had to do with that. Oh yeah, the furnace. Right. Um, I had a, 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 at this point, oh crap, pick me. Hi. Yeah, I haven't even seen this footage back. Like, I, I tried watching it back, like, when I tried to edit it before. But then, like, I realized that my voice wasn't there, and it made me sad, because I really loved my reaction to a lot of things. Like, beating the shit out of pygmies with a lead pipe. Get down! <laughs> Heal! And the nuts. And face. And nuts. Nothing like... No. Th there's a thing to be said here. Okay, we're in a school, and these little people, little people, are attacking us with knives. These are the school children! Yeah! Took me a second. But these little pygmy motherfuckers are like children. And like, it, it makes perfect sense in a later area that I've already recorded, thankfully this time with commentary. But um, for the rest of the school, until we leave the school, I will have to do post commentary, and I apologize for this excessively. Excessively. English. So now, now we just have to find the boiler room, the furnace room, boiler room, room with which there is heat, 
And yeah. Oh, don't look at me like that. Oh, piss monkeys. Look at the audio level on Audacity. Ah, uh, joy. I almost feel like just stopping and restarting. Nah, it. it shouldn't be too bad. You I'll fix it. Calm down. You only peek everywhere. We'll fix it. Yay, fixing. I don't like editing. Actually, I love editing. And yay, roof. That's locked-ish, kind of. Sort of. Yeah. So, why do they program doors that cannot be opened? Uh, because we open them later. We're actually not even halfway through the school yet. Yeah, I have the exact same reaction you guys probably have. And considering the school is probably a majority of the game, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that much. Like, later on is, like, pretty excessive. Nah, besides the school, there is some other areas that I don't say it's good. Get off my nuts! Yeah, at least they're kind of merciful and they'll make you run through the area first. What was I even doing right there? Like, I just kind of stood there and took it. <laughs> You're a man, what do you think? But I was crouched and ready and I think I had, like, something in my eye or something. Like, that that's the most common excuse, but... Dear God, I must have been an idiot for just standing there and waiting for him to stab me. <laughs> Kick him. Kick him, you fool. And there's that shadow dude. They actually explain that. Kind of. But it's, it's so strange. I still don't know what that's about. I haven't recorded in, like I said, a few months. But, um, yeah, that thing. Kind of scary and we'll run away. And I swear I chase down every single one I see because I, I think it's like something special or something and I, I try to kill it. Let me hit you! Must kill! Must kill! But at this point, I don't even know what I was doing right there. I think I was, like, devising. Like, even if I was checking my map, that took forever. What was I even doing? Pick me! That's why I like the lead pipe. It's not my favorite weapon for very long, especially after we get a certain shotgun. Right? So, like, most of these videos is just going to be me aimlessly searching places. Because, remember, I was blind when I was doing this. It isn't exactly like I know what I'm doing, so I can immediately run places. And thankfully, they do give you, like, an ass load of healing stuff. And handgun ammo, because... Uh, because game, yes. Because unlike uh, Silent Hill 4, they actually give you ammo, and that's what kind of surprised me. Because if everyone remembers, my only prior knowledge of Silent Hill is the movie and 4. 4 wasn't too bad. 4 was a travesty. It could have been a lot worse. I didn't even get scared once. Yeah. And you you know how panicked I get in this game. Here's 4... <laughs> Yeah, it's like every time I step out in a doorway, my, my pipe is ready. Here, <laughs> yeah, little pygmies. Here, <laughs> yeah, little pygmies, motherfuckers. Come here, little children. Eat my pole. <laughs> uh, anyways. Me looking at the map again, because apparently I'm challenged. I like how it says on the music room there is a piano in there. It's like, oh, there's a music room, but it also has a piano, because don't all music rooms? I think I was just trying to check out everywhere before I uh, moved on. And you almost missed that first aid, I remember that. I don't even know why. Like, I have no idea why I almost missed that. Children! Shadow child thing. Run, little gun, run. See, like, even though you can't hit it, I was Still obsessed with hitting it. <laughs> Because there's so many of them. It's like, holy crap, look at them all. I want to kill them. Must kill them all. No special books. You look at them for like five seconds, dude. Don't even tell me there's no special books. You don't know shit. Mm. But yeah, th this is pretty much the gist of it for a good while. 
like me just hunting around looking for thing. Because thing. Because thing, yes. Overall, though, like I just hopelessly smash buttons on anything that's kind of oddly colored. I, I think that's my method for the majority of everything. Get here. Like, why are you here? And I just dirt into walls, and I already checked that, and I don't even know what the hell I'm doing anymore. Was I just really tired? Had I just woken up or something? Because yeah, I think I woke up like for ten minutes, and I'm like, holy crap! I know how to do the piano puzzle. Are you awake enough to record? <laughs> and she's like, sure. Yeah, she was actually with me. I love Silent Hill. It's probably one of my favorite games. I haven't played it in years, but I love it. Woo! This is kind of making me want to play it for fun now. There's, there is no fun to be had in this. It's absolute terror. It's silent. You know, after a while, you get used to it. I'm still not used to it. Like, I, I watch it back and it's fun because it's like I've already done it. But like, when, when you don't kind of know what's coming, it's worse. It's so much worse. Like, that, that's why I hate postcom because no one can hear my reaction to most of this. Although most of my commentary was die, pig me, die, but it was still fucking funny, and they're going to miss out on... That one part? Yeah, that, that one part in particular. Remember the cat in the locker? Yeah, that happens again, only it's different. <laughs> and she's really happy about that. It was funny. I, was lo I wanted to laugh so hard when he first done it. But I can't now, because stupid post-commentary. <sighs> oh, well. Next time I'll make sure to actually tell if the damn thing's on or not. The camera, the camera is like weird. And there's me jumping back for no apparent reason. Oh god! Oh god! That means there's something deadly on the other side. Jump back, dude! Jump back! Slide to the right. <laughs> oh god! Not that song. <laughs> what? It, it's better than most of the other songs I think of when I play this game. What do you think of? You don't want to know. Seriously. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything on it, no. It's terrible. Like, seriously, there, there's a down arrow. I was talking... I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I think I finally decided that, yeah, the down arrow is exactly where I'm supposed to go. I should stop dicking around. I think I was just looking for room... <laughs> there's a locker there, Henry. Harry, Henry, whatever his name is. Is his name Harry? I don't. All I know is his last name's Mason. Am I getting that confused again? Is his name Henry or Harry? Harry Mason, Henry Mason? Harry Mason? Harry Mason. Pygmy motherfucker with a knife getting bashed in the head and taking several hits. Just die, child. I like how there's actually that little physic where he falls down the stairs and then I kick him in the nuts. Uh, yeah. That, that's pretty cool. Like he actually kind of falls backwards down the stairs. Battling pygmies on the stairs. Where are you? Where? What the hell was I even doing? It's been so long. Oh God! What? I don't even know. <laughs> heal, boy! Heal! Kick him! Yeah, and then I, I swung prematurely. Come here. And then turns around and grabs my nuts. And oh my God! Really? It's like, I'm running, I'm running, just kidding! <laughs> kick, I'm so alone. kick him in the head, kick him in the head harder! Harder, Mason, harder! Yeah, I think I'm just going to every room I haven't already been in. Just in case. I'm a thorough player, even if I'm blind. I think that's part of the reason I was so thorough, is because I didn't know what the shit I was doing. And that paper on the blackboard looked really, really important, and I completely missed it. It's, it was probably nothing, because I obviously get through. Oh no, post-commentary secret, he lives. It's kind of like narrators in horror mo horror movies. Well, it's like, no shit, they lived. He's talking about it. God. It, it's like that in books with, like, first-person narrative. Like, sometimes the books are really suspenseful or something, and then, like... You then it then dawns on you if they're alive to talk about it, they clearly get out of it okay. 
Sure, that doesn't take away from the fact that what they went through was pretty terrifying or awesome or whatever. But it, it, it's just hilarious to think about. And I really need to stop talking about books and talk about game. Of where I'm walking very slowly with an erect pipe. Just kind of chilling there. Because Hello, Shadow Child. Want to play with my pipe? Yeah, I'm like, I'm prepared. Every single room I enter. No, I'll go back out in the hallway. Money on me holding out the pipe. Money on it. Yep. yep. Every time. Without fail. Every single time. Wanna know why? Because this game is cheap. <laughs> I, I can't even call it respawning enemies, because it's really choosy about it. Like, sometimes when you go into rooms, things will come after you, and then sometimes they won't. And... it It's backwards. Like, a lot of people call it, do the enemies respawn? No, but... They kind of do. It's like... Uh, near the end of this post-commentary session... Well, maybe not this one, but like the second or the third. I'm running around the school again, and I've pretty much killed everything. But rooms I've been in several times that didn't have any enemies, I'd walk. Mm, excuse me. I'd walk back in, and there was an enemy there. Hi, you missed me. Right. Come and get me. <laughs> but it's like I I didn't miss it. It just wasn't there before, and I don't know if it's a random generator, or if there's a certain amount of time that has to go by. But it's very choosy about it. And that is a really small room. That's the child room. <laughs> no, that's Harry Potter's room. It's under the stairs. <laughs> hey. No. If Harry Potter lived in the school, that would be his room. Because it's under the stairs. An ominous looking door. I think I was actually talking about how ominous the door looked. Walk in, there's a big... Big everything. By the way, this this game does have bosses. Oh god. Not to spoil anything, but yeah, it totally has bosses. And here it's like, okay, it's asking me if I want to press the switch. It's like, well, I kinda don't. Everything's alright right now, but if I want to go forward and all that conflict, then it's just so much so annoying. But yeah, that that's just me getting prepared for the worst because I may not know much, but I know enough to want to wet myself every single time I do something new. The boiler is working. Different. Awesome. It appears to be broken. We're doomed. Why is it broken? Because there's no lights on it, Mr. Mason. Because I cannot remember if your name is Harry or Henry. I'm going to have to look back at the first video now, and I don't want to. Because that's silly, and it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and... One of my, uh, I'm actually, like, part of a gaming community, sort of, kind of, and, uh, somebody in the chat room was actually talking about, like, playing Silent Hill at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, dude, I recorded myself playing Silent Hill at 4 o'clock in the morning without knowing what to do. Like, the first episode, you said it's, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm ready to do this. <laughs> I think that was, like, the, halfway through the second video. It's like, you know what, I really shouldn't be doing this because it's, like, 4.30 in the morning and I have not Everyone's asleep. Let's wake them all up to blood-curdling screams. I think I actually heard you once scream, to be honest. No, it was when you... I think you were going to the bathroom or something, and it was when I was running down the street towards the school, and I was being chased by everything. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Imitating Jared last night. Jared! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Playing Minecraft. Uh, Yeah. We play a lot of Minecraft. Yeah. Like, how did he glitter that, though? He didn't. He died, eventually. I know, but look... Like, how, how did he live as long as he did? Yeah. Good question. I don't even fucking know. But yeah, apparently the door is unlocked, and ladder going down, because basements are awesome. School basements are pretty creepy when you think about it. School basements where you're killing little children, and there's dead things all around, and then there's skulls. Are those even... No, those are... Those are bottles. What the hell am I talking about? And they're skull... Wait, they're and, and a keep out and a door and it's like you go up the ladder and, and this is where I get kind of weirded out. And everyone's like, oh, it, it's like, are we on the other end of the wall? Like, what, what happened? What uh, What happened? 
And of course, like, it, it couldn't be that easy, right? It couldn't be. It's and Silent Hill. Nothing's ever going to be that easy. Where am I? Where are you? You are fucked. That's where you are. <laughs> Have I been here before? No! Five seconds ago, dude. Try to keep up. And then it's like, now there's this gigantic freaking Ouroboros in the middle of the courtyard. and <laughs> I don't remember this being here. Right? Nah, someone drew it while you was taking your time. <laughs> so it's like, okay, there's a giant question mark and all the doors. and Okay, so this is the true Silent Hill now. Can I call it the true Silent Hill? Just some nim nim nim? True Silent Hill? Because I really... Talk. Yes, English is important. <laughs> And I, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at the map for for so long. I know what's coming, I think. And it terrifies me. Probably. If I had to guess. But it's like, okay, it couldn't be too bad. The doors kind of change. And that door is locked. I'm like, fuck. And then turn around. And I have the gun out because I'm scared. <laughs> and Oh, when the gun comes out, you know trouble's a brewing. <laughs> well, like, I had the pipe on and I had the gun but no ammo and I don't even know why I fired. <laughs> I'm warning you! Itchy trigger finger and now everything's all like rusty and death like. So like the very intro of the game what happens then and that's pretty much what it is now only. And these things still take like a thousand some shots to kill. Pop. Hm. Execution style. Give me your knife. Right. But yeah like shit just got real. This is a very interesting part of the game, that's all I'm going to say. And, okay, one thing I don't like about survival horror is aside from cutscenes, the characters don't react. Like, <laughs> the main character in particular doesn't react, and it's like, oh, this all looks very prison-y, and there are limbs and dolls nailed to the wall, and, oh, rubber ball. <laughs> And it's so awkward, and I think I'm actually laughing about the rubber ball thing. It's like, oh, what is that, clown nose? What the fuck? It's like, maybe I throw it at the dogs, or what? <laughs> nope. Yeah, okay, you think it's something metaphorical like that? Like, we're fighting dog demons, why not throw a ball at it? Well, it, ex it, it explains itself in due time, but I, I just think it's hilarious. Because, honestly, no words can quite say exactly what you have to do with it. And it, it, it's really simple. And in comes the giant bugs from hell. They're really fast. I don't know if they do too much damage. And I don't even think I killed that one. <laughs> shot, shot, you're dead. Like, nope. three shots. And I thought that was enough because I think the noise went away. And, like, I'd already killed one a little bit off screen. And, like, it was off the screen when I killed it because I get nervous. Half the crap I can't even explain for myself. I really can't. And I'm like, do I want to open this door? No, I want to shoot at it. <laughs> Damn. No, it, it's honestly entertaining watching post commentary for a game you haven't even seen yourself in several months. Because it's like, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Is he going to go through the door? Nope, nope, he's going to shoot it. That's exactly what you were supposed to do, Wade. Yep, that's exactly what you, you need to shoot that door. I don't like post commentary for future reference. I hate doing this because it's like, the controller isn't even in my hands and I'm supposed to be talking about the game. And how I felt about it. Okay, for future reference, all the post-commentary, I was shit-scared. Like, this entire game, I'm going to be in a constant state of fear until I get out of the school. And then when we get into the next location, I'm going to be scared again. Picture card with a key on it. Hmm. Nah, we don't need that. Couldn't possibly be have anything to do with a door. And all those really pink frilly lockers from before are now cold and bloody and gray and of course red because of the blood and it's just a rainbow of death I'm talking about game for a solid half hour and I haven't even touched it in several months but basically the gimmick behind the area now is it gave you an idea of where everything was they kinda mirrored it I guess is a good way to say it 
Like they almost made a mirror of it. I'm I'm ignoring the pygmies. Fuck the pygmies. Like they they're mobbing me, but I'm going to ignore them for the sake of continuing what it's about. Basically, okay, they do almost kill me. I'll give them that much. Bring out the pipe. I think that's because I ran out of ammo again. Surprise, surprise. Get off my ass. Bad child. Kid clearly had an Oedipus complex. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's Greek. So, uh, basically the gimmick now is the fact that one more monster. Will you quit humping me? Um, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> There's, uh... Seriously, they're not getting the memo or something, like... I'm in, I, I'm from the future, you need to stop pumping me like that. Uh, we, uh, the gimmick, the gimmick, is that several hallways are closed off now, and there's actually a little bit more of a gimmick involving the bathrooms of all things, later on. And, um, I don't think it's in this video, I think it's in the next one, where the bathroom comes into play. And, uh, again, I'm skeptical about the bathroom because of the creepy girl laugh, the creepy girl crying. In the boys' bathroom. In, in the boys' bathroom. That, uh, still kind of freaked me out. Like, why is there a crying girl in the men's room? It could have been a boy. Okay, I'm not No, it, it was definitely a girl. Or, or it was, like, this Shane kid from my high school that sounded a lot like a woman and acted like one too, but that's a side bat point and has nothing to do with Silent Hill. Okay, so as you could tell, the hallway was kind of cordoned off by like an iron fence. Nothing you can do about it because apparently Henry or Harry or whatever his name is. Yeah, Dickie McGunson can't open a fence or knock it down or something. And, and this is where survival horror comes in because it's like, wouldn't somebody just ram the fence over and over until they got through or something? So apparently we're in the front hallway again. I'm not even really paying attention at this point. And Pipe is my friend. And I think I already killed him, but I clearly didn't because I can still push them around. And God, kick him faster. Get to the save point so I can end the damn video. But no, there's more pygmies. But wait, there's more. Die! So getting to certain rooms is going to be a lot harder, especially the boiler room in question. Especially the boiler room is going to be really hard to get to. Um, there are more puzzle elements in the school now, like uh, the rubber ball is a big one because question mark and again I'm questioning the nurses thing because I know me and Silent Hill and I know nurses and oh look it we're coming to the end of the video finally I don't really know where the videos end right now because I I just openly assume they all end at um, save points so like uh, this th this is just a thing I just assume it ends here, and from the way I just stop moving, and I, I apparently, like, call myself out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now, and uh, next time, you'll get to listen to me ramble and rant for a while as I go through the next little place of interest, and get hopelessly lost, because honestly, the school's pretty rough, so uh yeah, I hope you don't mind this being post-commentary. I hope you bear with me, and I'll see you all next time, everyone. Take care.